Broken Arcade exclusive. I am going to win Dragon's Lair. I'm gonna play it from beginning to end and shout out all the moves as I go along. You know, I went live not too long ago and I, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. But this time, I'm gonna make it. Dragon's Lair from 1983. I first played this in Chuck E. Cheese and it was a negotiated play because I only had so many quarters and at 50 cents, this game just took all my quarters. I don't know if it took yours, but I'm back for some revenge. Um, got this original Dragon's Lair cabinet back in 2016 or 2017. All original when I got it. The only modification I've made now, because this is a laser disc game, which means the video files that play the game or play the scenes in the game are off a giant laser disc, and that was notorious for going bad. So what I've done is I've replaced the video disc player with a, or the laser disc player with a Dexter card. And really all that allows me to do is play the video files off a Raspberry Pi. It's a non-destructive mod. It's plug and play. So I unplug that, plug right back into the laser disc player, which I have the original Dragon's Lair disc and the Space Ace disc. And we're good to go. That Dexter card is made by Matt Ormsby. It also allows me to play Space Ace, Dragon's Lair 2, and a myriad of other Laserdisc games that we know and love from the 80s. All right, guys, without further ado, Dragon's Lair. Here we go. Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. <laughs> You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon's lair. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. All right, here we go, that 50 cents. Now, in the enhanced version, you play the bridge scene, but in the arcade version I remember from Chuck E. Cheese, you do not. It just goes right into the castle. Okay, this is up. Starting off easy here. This is a quick right. And you'll see a lot of the visual indicators as you come in here um, in some of the earlier scenes. All the timing is not as relentless as well, so it's first left and then a right. Then a left, as you see the visual cues on screen, another right. And you go right towards the light colored water, then left, then another right. And then lastly, a left. Now we're getting into the whirlpools. So, right when he lifts up his oars when you move, if you're uh, wondering about some of the timing here. And again, the earlier versions, the timing is not as relentless and strict, so you have a little bit of leeway. You're gonna go right here, right when you see that chain. All right. This is gonna be two rights. You'll hear that first ding, and then the door will flash, another right. This is gonna be up, and then when the door is open, you'll push up again. And now here, when the lava's all the way down, you can go left. There we go, okay. Lizard King, it's a first left. Always the first left, and all the other doorways are right. I remember reading in a magazine how to beat this as a kid. I, I never could, but now I remember. Left, right, 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 right. Okay, this is the last doorway. Then it's going to be up, and then five swords. Two, three, four, five. And the scene will finish itself out. Okay, this is going to be one quick right. As a kid, I was always tempted to grab that diamond in there. So there's our right. Okay, this is sword. Sword almost right after each other. Once we get the one sword again, then we're going to go up. All right, this is going to be, first move is going to be a right. Then it's going to be up. Then we're going to go down. And last move is a left. Okay, you hear the creak, you go up, up again, sword for the bats, and then we're gonna go right, and before he lands, hit right again. You let him land, you won't make it, so that's the timing for that. Sword, then we're gonna go left, another left over here, you'll see it flash, that's when you make the move, and then a sword when this guy appears, the scene will finish itself out. 
All right, this is sword and up, up, up. And just a little bit about the timing. Okay, first sword, and all the rest of the moves are up. You'll see some visual indicators here. There's really no other place to go, so up is the way. Last one here. The scene will finish itself out. Okay, we all remember the falling disc. Well, no, like go on the third ledge. I think you can go on the first and second. I think later you can go further, but I haven't tried it. So I always jumped on the third one. That was a left. Now we have the reverse scenes that we'll need to do on some of these. So you have to play through every scene and all the reverse scenes before you can get to the dragons there. If you don't pass a scene, you will have to do it again before you go. Okay, opposite side of the hand here. We're going to go right. This is the first move. Left. Right. And then three lefts to finish it up. All right, there we go. Okay, this is going to be up. Sword. Up. Sword again. And go left. And we'll have to play this reversed. We'll help make a right earlier. And then, ah, I hope I quit blabbing. I'd be getting through this here. All right, again, falling disc. We'll go on three. I'm going to make a left. Okay, as he looks back, we're, this is all down on and up. So we're going to go back. We're going to go down. He looks forward, down. He looks back, down, forward. And then the last one is a light purple ball. And that's after that move. Here it is. You go up. And that finishes the scene off. All right, those have to line up. So it's up, and then sword when that flashes, and you're going to go down when these grow. And then when the door opens, you'll go up. And you'll have to do this in reverse as well. Okay, this is going to be sword. Sword again. And we're going to move out of the way of this anvil. This is the left. Sword again. And then he'll jump up on this ledge. And as soon as this character moves, last sword, and the scene will finish itself up. Okay, this is going to be sword. And then we're going to go up. The next move is right. And we're going to go down, um, then left, and then up. Okay, this is a quick left. Then we're going to do sword when these things pop out. And then another left. And this is, again, a lot less... Not as relentless. Okay, so look at the side of the sword. That's it's the first move is the left. It's your visual indicator, then up, then right, and then up. And now the side of the sword, you're gonna to move towards the side of the sword because these will come up on the right, so that's another left. We'll go up, wait for the spider to come down, I'll hit sword, then another right, and then up finishes the scene out. I'm trying to explain it fast as it happens. Save me! Okay, this is another scene that will be reversed, but the first move is gonna be right, then left, then up. Then we'll go left, and then right, and then left, and we'll have to go right before he lands. And as soon as this guy flash, flashes, you'll hit sword again. That'll finish the scene out. Okay, this will be a couple quick rights. Right, right, right. And then it'll be another right as the chair spins around. You kind of get an indicator. There you go. Okay, follow this. Then we'll go on three. It's going to be right this time. Some of these are more obvious. I mean, definitely move right on that one. Okay, the reverse ropes. So we're going to go left. Right before he lets go. Go left. Left. And left. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be opposite side. First move is going to be a left. And a right. And a left. Now we're doing three rights. One. Two. To last right. There we go. Scene will finish itself out. Okay. Let's see if we can get through this here. Okay. Sword. First move is up, then sword, then up again. I can't believe <laughs> I can't believe I'm dying on that one. Well, it's sword and then right and then sword. All right. One, two, three. But again, it'll make me play that scene until I can pass it. 
or I will not be allowed into the dragon's lair. So this is going to be two lefts and, and a right. So the first left here, when the guy appears is when you make the move. So he appears, there's my left, and then he'll come again, make the right, and jump into the cave, and see him finish itself out. Oh, crap. Oh, I did make it. Okay. So the sword is up, and then sword, and then we're going to go down. We already played this reverse, so this is the last one, and when the door opens, you'll do up. All right, this one again, reverse, sword. Sword again here. We'll move out of the way of the anvil. It's going to be a right this time. Sword again. And again, when he jumps up, and right when the character moves, you'll hit that last sword button. Actually hit it early, but it's, it's not as relentless with the timing. And there you have it. Okay, this is going to be up. Then we're going to hit sword as the next move. Then it's going to be down. Sword again. And then a right. There we have it. Okay, this is going to be sword. The first move, then right after you kill that guy. Then sword again. I think in the enhanced version you'll hit up, but you don't do anything else after that last sword. Okay, visual indicator on the sword is on the right, so we're gonna move right, then up, then left. Again, this was that reversed. Then up, um, then we're gonna go right, then up again. And spider comes down, it's sword. And again, this time, it'll be a left, and then up. Finish that scene out. Save me. Okay, this is the reversed of the electricity scene. So it's left, this time, right, up, then you're gonna be right left, and a right and left before he lands, and then sword finishes this scene out. Now we're getting pretty close to the end here. I think I just have to pass. Oh, this is going to be down, up, and left. There's my down, up, left. There we go. All right, as long as I pass this, we're getting to the dragon's there. Sword, and we're done. I think we might have to do the other verse, the reverse version of that before we get to the dragons there. Yeah, and then, then we're done. Up again, sword, right, and sword again. All right, we got it, guys. Here we go. All right. First move is left. <laughs> He'll come down and the next move is going to be left. Actually, the next move is going to be left after this coming up. And we got one more left move as he's ducking down. I'll show you. Please save me. The cage is locked with a key. The dragon keeps it around his neck. To slay the dragon, use the magic sword. Okay, it's left. Another left. And then the next move is up. As he goes by the sword. Oh, no, it's right. Sorry, next move is right towards this. Then it's up. And it's going to be sword. Sword again. Then it's up. <laughs> and then one more sword and we're done. There we go. <laughs> there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.